Chase and I are going to be forging some or forging a uh, striker for flint and steel. And then we're going to kind of take you on the journey of harvesting a uh, nappable rock that will throw sparks with the flint and steel. But it all starts right here at the forge, right? So we have our, our simple brake drum forge. We got our coal nice and hot. Down here we have our squirrel fan blower hooked to our black pipe and our very speed. Um, it's not all kind of screwed down right now because we're just kind of working on one little piece. But we turn that on. And you can see that plugs that air to the forge and gets that gets that forge nice and hot. That's how we're controlling the temperature on the forge and ensuring that coal continues to burn. So we're gonna leave that on low for right now. That's on its lowest setting, and you can see that's really, really cooking in there. Um, our steel is here. We got a piece of scrap 1095 cut off. All right, and this is the piece that Jason's gonna be working on to make his striker out of. Go ahead and jam that joker in there. Just make sure you can kind of see. Just let it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in there a little deeper. There you go. You just want to be able to, there you go, perfect. We probably just so we don't it. lose it. Yeah, exactly. There okay. We go. And we're just using this piece of rebar here to kind of keep our coal moving around where we're at. We just want to insulate it and you'll be able to see it when it's time. And okay. We're just going to turn this on and we're going to heat that up. And you'll see quite quickly that that steel is going to going to come up to temperature right. and we'll be able to uh, take it right to the uh, the track anvil over there and, and start uh, hammering. Okay. We use this one. It feels a little bit lighter. Um, what are you trying to say? Um, not nothing. Without I'll tell you one something. thing. You back into one of these uh, <laughs> anvils here and it don't move. <laughs> All right. Check your steel. Go ahead. Okay. Pull, pull your steel out of there. You can see that was maybe 20 seconds or so. You know, we're already hot. All oh, right, yeah. so let me see this. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go through this. So we're gonna take the steel. You can see on the anvil here, if I stand in the, in the shade, you know, actually no light in here is actually really good because I can really appreciate how hot the steel right. is. So what you're doing is we're gonna, this tells us how much surface area we want for our striker. So uh, say I want uh, this piece here is probably, I don't know, three, three and a half inches long. So I wanted the bulk of my striker to be used to actually strike the actual rock itself. So I only want to stretch out just a very small portion of it. Somewhere in here is where I'm going to start striking, right in here. And then I'm going to stretch that piece out, which saves all of this to strike the rock. Okay. You can use the tongs to cover it or whatever. The more insulation you have around that, the better. Okay. And as I work, I'll generally just take a scoop of coal and have a piece of, you know, have a little bit of coal on top. Same way you would with your fire. When your fire is higher than your material, it's time to add more material. Yeah. So it's kind of the same thing with the with the forge. So we shut that down. Nice and hot here. Look how quickly we got yeah, hot, it right? Is hot. Yeah. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit this side here and then I'm gonna hit here. Hit this side. And then hit here. Okay. And what this is doing is it's keeping it flat, but I'm extending it out. You see how it's, yep. it's lengthening? Yep. So that's the process. So here, and then flatten it. And then Got you can come back to this side, back and forth, back okay. and forth, okay? Yep. So put that back in there, and you it's on you next. Now, okay. I don't have to put on the, uh, this is super hot in there. I can probably just leave it in there for, you know, 30 seconds a minute, and we're going to get that heat back to it. We're just we're advancing the heat by uh, uh, by applying the Got air, it. you know? A little faster. Yeah, if I wanted to just uh, not run the air, go ahead and pull it out right now and just check it. It's been in there, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds as I talk. You know, we're, already yeah, we're hot. So go ahead, go yeah. ahead and hammer it. Try not to drop it in the dirt. thousand pull it out that's 10 seconds or so I'm ready to go yep so maybe 10 seconds in the forge and we're back in business now remember you don't have to hit it very hard on the flat hit it harder on the sides because the sides what's lengthening it flats just keeping it from getting getting crazy okay that just straightens it back there you out. go perfect yes See how it's sparking a little bit? Yeah. That's getting close to melting the steel. Oh, that's a little hot. Yeah. Am I right there? Good. Oh, 
I'm having a hard time dealing with the tongs. Tongs end up being the hardest part for new I'll, blacksmiths to learn I'll is, is tong, you know, kind of tong management with right. the hand, you know? Yeah, it's like where to put your fingers. So let's start focusing just on this side. Okay. So just hammering that side because okay. that's the side we're going to roll around. So it's going to curl. And, and put it down real quick. Just hold it right there. Turn it. Turn it. Yep. I don't want you to hammer any further back than right there. No further. Yep, back that way. This Because then we're going to lose. So I want you to stay. Oh, uh, okay. So put it up, up on end. So just a hammer. A hammer length. A hammer length. Got okay. It? Okay. Yep. So for the, uh, for the blacksmith courses, you know, this is one project the individuals will work on. Uh, pot hooks, door hangers, um leaves or leaves yeah, yeah. you know um and and probably culminate with a blacksmith's knife right, right? so but the but they're gonna you're gonna come and you're gonna learn how to manage a coal forge you're gonna learn how to light a coal forge you're gonna have blacksmith with coal tong management hammer skills learn about anvil setup how high it should be all those kind of intro yeah. blacksmith skills and then you're gonna leave with uh, the stuff that you've made right and, and an understanding of how to replicate to this make uh, this thing know, at home yeah at home tongs man i'm having a hard mm -hmm, time with the mm -hmm, tongs mm -hmm. just put it back in just put it back in all right dirt dirt's no problem dirt won't hurt no nope. ain't gonna bother the forge at all those are all the little side things you don't realize you look at and you're like oh yeah how how hard could that be and yeah. then the, the things you don't even realize are the ones that it tend to be the most challenging yeah let me see here so um It's like with bow drill, people don't understand just how hard it is to keep your spindle straight down. Vertical, yeah. 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 So choke up, get more purchase on the actual piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I have hammering, I'm pushing. Pushing it away from you. What does the push do? You're put. You're moving the steel that direction. Oh, yeah. got it. The okay. steel. You're. It's like clay. Oh, at this yeah, point. yeah. yeah. So that makes sense. Okay. You're, you're pushing the clay away from you. Okay. And uh, yeah. So that'll take. And notice the thinner the steel gets, the faster it heats up. So be cognizant of the fact that you know what took ten seconds may take three seconds. Oh, may wow. take you know because it's know, getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. With, with the air on for okay. sure. So just something to think about. But, but try to get a little bit more purchase. With the tongs when you when you step up to the anvil kind of like yeah go ahead and hammer that now yeah, yeah i would yeah there and then just readdress once you get to the anvil okay. and readjust like, uh, there you go there you go there we go Don't, when you when you do it on its side, you're just dressing it. You don't don't push it away. Okay. All you're doing is keeping it straight. All right. Good. pretty fun man why well, it is um unless you got to make 50 <laughs> 50 knives when it's your job yeah well, it's your job job takes fun everything so when, when fun. it's your job it's your job that's right yeah. it, that's it that's, that's exactly what it is it's like well, i had a i had a uh seal buddy that joked about that he's like you know i used to like skydiving oh yeah i used to like scuba diving yeah and then the navy yeah now um, i hate it all yeah, I was I was a, I was a combat diver in the army. I you know free fall. Yeah. One day I retired. I sold yeah. my parachute. They, yeah. ruined, they ruined it for me. I'm never doing that again. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. They just they just they take all the fun out of everything. They strap all that crap to you. And, you know, it's like I was on the parachute team in Panama, and and after you have three issued shoots, 
and you know jump six times a day and then you you know pcs back to brag and it's like man i gotta pay to jump <laughs> nah no no thanks <laughs> yeah yeah i'm not into that <laughs> all right what am i doing do i take it out yeah so what we're gonna do is see we're sparking a little bit here yep. which means we're that's that no no that's like uh, that's indicative of like forge well temperatures right so all we're doing up here is we're just kind of opening that up a little bit and yep. fixing some of this to kind of flatten some of those things out Dressing some of that. Remember, blacksmithing isn't about how hard you hit it, it's about where you hit it. Okay. All right. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over, right? So we just wanted to dress that a little bit. I didn't bring my stamp, so we're not going to be able to stamp it with my stamp. Oh, son of a gun. Which is okay. <laughs> um, uh, no problem. But we're going to go ahead and curl that end around. And okay. I'll show you what I'm talking about there. But you see how once this thing takes off and starts going, well, it only took, what, 10 minutes to get going? It's not a big deal. Not but yeah, and there's plenty of resources right here sure. to, to get her going. So it's just you have to have those things on hand. You just can't put the coal there, and then why is this thing, not, why is this thing starting? You right, know? Right, Take right. your time. It's, again, Coal Forge builds delayed gratification, right. which is... Which is the whole premise yeah, to what I'm talking about? You can't here. just turn it on. And I ba go. I'm baking it into everything I'm doing because it's important to teach people that. Right. You're just going to set this on the side right there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start just curving it. Curve on. it down. How far down? Well, we're going to roll it all the way around. All the way back. Yeah, to yeah, we're, yeah. We're going to roll it all the way around. So, but but I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come. I'm just going to come back a little bit, and then I'm going to bring that down. Yeah. And and then that way I start to build the the curl. Yeah, because if I just bend it, if I hit here now, it's just going to be like a ninety degree yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's like uh, you know, you you break it here, you break it here right. you break, to make a circle. Yeah. Just not just way on the end. There you go. There you go. Something now, like now, don't turn it over and hit hit it on uh, like that. Yes, yes, got yes, it, got yes, it, got yes. It. yes. No, there you go. Follow it around. Follow it around. Almost on top now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now turn it on the side and straighten it out. And then put it back in the floor. And then you bring it around. Nice. So now, because you have to hammer it back this way, yep. now we take this. Now hammer it back that way. Because you don't want it yeah, to bend. Yeah, because you don't want that to bend. I might have to hit, yep, that. hit that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, put it back in the forge. You okay. need a little bit more heat to get it going. And then you'll do the same thing. You'll just dip the end. That way you can follow it around. Okay. Don't forget to oh, yeah. dip just that end. There you go. Good. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn it on the side, clean it up, make sure things straight. Yeah. Good. Then now turn it around, hold it from the tail, and look down your, your other piece. So whenever whenever you're moving this, mm -hmm. use use the hammer as your uh, other hand, right? So okay. if I'm gonna turn this this way, I'm gonna go like this. Yep. And then I'm gonna feed it to it. Got it. So always don't set the hammer down and then use two hands to try to manipulate. Yeah, use yeah. The, this is your hand. Okay. Okay. We just look down that. That's relatively straight. Because you want it relatively straight because you're striking something. So you want it to be, you know, right, in right. that context. So look here. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it with the striking side oriented down in, in the forge. So I'm gonna set it on top like this. Okay. Because I, I want to superheat the striking side, but not so much the back of it. Okay. All right. So we turn this on. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. I'm going to take it out almost like right above it. Take it out. Only and that only that one side in and quench that side hard. Okay.
see if it tempered hard. You're saying now you could check it with a file to see if it files hard. Mm -hmm. The file slicks across yeah. it, then it, then it got hard enough. But you want this harder, which is why we crunched it in water. You want this harder than you would quench a blade. So I'm going to quench a blade, uh, and I'm not going to quench it hard that hard on the edge because I have to pull hardness out of it to ensure that you're going to be able to sharpen it. Uh, you wouldn't be able to sharpen this because it's it's a like file skates so up. Sharp. It's, it's yeah. hard. Yeah. Because so there, there's a level of you know hardness so we have to see okay did we get it hard enough to throw sparks you know i don't know yet we will know right so what we can do is while this is annealing we could take a walk down and talk about the court site rock. yeah go find the court site and come back cool because this will this will stay stay good as you can see here on here on the school property we have a, a nice deposit of quartzite. site um and uh, this is exactly what we're looking for a piece of quartzite. site got a sharp edge on it um this is the way we'll be able to go back and test this on our striker to see if it throws a spark. And then we can address uh, aggress that temper or that, that hardness uh, in, that, in that steel when we get back up there. So this is exactly what we're looking for. Just kind of went down here and kicked the piece off. And you can see, really, this piece would work. This piece would work. You know. You guys have any other... Uh, sparkable stones around here in in North Carolina the two nappable stones are quartzite and rhyolite and rhyolite. There, there's not any there's not really any rhyolite around here there is some up in here. yeah there's there's some in Carthage yeah you can find some up in Carthage which isn't too far from here but I haven't seen any on this property let's see moment of truth let's see if it uh, makes a spark let's see if it does the thing Oh, that looked promising. There's basic blue jeans right there. Basic blue jeans. Yeah. Just standard denim. So, put them in a can. All right, we have our rock, our striker. Close the can. Put in fire. Take can to the fire. And there she is. We found this in the woods, I'm guessing squirrel activity, hard to say, but it's the world's largest bar bird's nest. So I figure bigger is better. Oh, <laughs> well, that's all it took. Put that in my pocket so I don't lose it. Let's show that. Oh yeah. Focused. Yep, good to go. Cool. Gonna be calling the fire department to put that one. <laughs> See, how do you even hold a bird's nest this big? There it is. I'm just gonna give it a little, little, little natural air here, you know. And since we don't want to be too wasteful, I mean, this is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, let's we'll stomp that. Yeah, we'll, that. Say, we'll save that for the, for save for that the for next, the next 17. Yeah, next 20 fires. That's right. Yeah. Excellent. Cool, man.